Hey guys, um, so today we're going to work on the scroll, we're going to fix the header right to the top as we scroll down, see, oh there it is, now it works, I haven't saved us. There we go, so you can scroll right through, okay, and we want to fix it to the top of the screen. Um, the main things we're going to look at is this here, we're making sure that our menu will end up in a fixed position, we're going to give it the class fixed. Alright, right now menu all right, has no fixed class, that's why I can scroll up and down and off the screen. All right. And we need to do this in jQuery. Okay, so let's get to it. The fun stuff, jQuery. So let's get it ready. Spelling. So function. Okay. So first thing we need to do is make a variable menu offset. And we're gonna give this the class menu. We're gonna use this little guy here. Offset. Alright, now offset allows you to retrieve the current position of the element relative to the document. So it's going to give you this position, okay, of menu, because this, this is our menu here, okay. Now to get it working, let's say document, so we're working with the scroll now, right, as you scroll up and down, so we use scroll, I'm going to say function. Okay. Now we need to make another variable. I'm going to call the scroll top. Okay. I'm going to say document. All right. Dot scroll top. Now this here allows you to see how far you have scrolled altogether. All right, scroll top. And now we're going to say we're going to use an if else statement. Okay, so if else, All right. so if something happens, something else happens. Okay, so if scroll top, all right, is greater than menu offset top. Okay. We're going to say menu add class fixed. All right. Let's see. So we're going to say if scroll top, all right, we found it here, all right, is greater than menu offset top. All right, so we've gone to the top of the page, okay. If it hits that top of the page, we need to add the class fixed, right? So if this gets right up to there, we need to make it fixed. Right here. Else, if it doesn't make it, or if we're going backwards, scrolling, we need to remove the class fixed. Class fixed. All right, let's have a look. Is that refreshed? There we go. So as you scroll down, it gets to the top and it stops right there. It's fixed. Alright, fixed at zero, zero. Alright, it stops right there. And we can keep going all the way down. And our menu stays there. Alright. The next thing we want to do, alright, is when we get to part two or part three, we need this to change. All right, these little buttons. Now this is our active, okay? So as you can see here, our first one, our first li element is active, the class active. All right, and this is active here, active A, all right? So we're changing the A element inside active. And we're gonna say 
give it a border, give it a color. I don't know, you guys can do whatever you want. All right, that's just what I've done now. Make it look a bit different. Doing this, we also need a fair bit of jQuery. It's pretty straightforward. All right. Where are we? Okay. One. Okay, we'll start up here. So we're going to make a few variables. All right. Let's see. Bar section one. All right. And I'll show you here. We have section one, section two, section three. Okay. So we're going to put all of these into a variable. So we're going to say section one offset. Top. Just so we know we were getting offset top, all right? Just keep it going. Then we're gonna say section one. And we're gonna say offset again. Just like before, you know, we're finding the distance to the top. Okay. And then we're gonna say dot top. All right, and we're going to do the exact same for section. Oh, got a bit much. Section two and section three. Now you don't actually need section one. All right, I'm only doing section one just so you don't get confused. You know where you are. All right, it's just much easier to show you doing section one, section two, and section three, all right? But we don't actually need section one. Now, to get it going, we're gonna say documents again, all right, on scroll, because remember, we're still scrolling up and down. This is our main point. We're gonna say function, spelling is horrible today. Okay, so we're going to give it a variable, just like we did before, variable scroll top. All right, now remember these might have the same name, but they're inside different functions, so they don't interfere with each other at all. All right, so var scroll top. Document dot scroll. All right, and then we're going to make a variable called active li. All right, and nothing's going to go inside this variable at the moment. All right, it's just a variable. So later on, we can choose which one of these we want to be active. All right. Now we're not just doing a normal if else statement. All right, we actually we because we've got more than one section now. We're actually going to be doing multiple if else statements. So I'm going to say if. All right, that's our first one. And then else if, all right, and then else. Okay. Okay. So how are we starting? If scroll top, so we've got scroll top here. Okay, if scroll top is greater than Okay, greater than section two offset top. Okay, so now we've got section two here. We've got the distance from the top it is. All right, so if scroll top is less than that, all right, if scroll top is less than this section here, that obviously means we're referring to this section, all right, so our ally is going to be active on home, on our first section. All right, so we're gonna say active li, all right, and we're gonna say, oh, what? All right, we're gonna say menu items, all right, items, all right, which is here, menu items, all right, we've got this container here, the UL container. Menu items 
li, so we point to all the li's, all right, and the one we want to change is the first one, all right, we want that to be active, so we're going to use nth child, so nth child one, okay, so that means the first one is active, the first menu item, else if, all right, and we're going to have a condition here. We're going to say else of scroll top is less than section 3 offset top. Okay. Then your active li, because now we be before section 3. Okay. I'm going to copy all this over and it's going to be the second one all right right before the third we're going to make this one the second one part two okay else let's have a look it's not section one it's not section two it's going to be section three let's see Copy and paste, type it all out again. There we go. Third element. And then after here, we're going to say active li. All right, so we said what active li is. It's either the first, second, or the third one. Okay, but we still need to add the class active to it. So in here, we would have chosen which one we're targeting, which active li it will be. And then we're going to say add class active. But there's one more thing. We need to say, what if it's not any of these? All right, what if it's not one and three? You know, if we scroll from one to the next one, you don't want it to all be active. Okay, so we need to say. menu items all right li they're going to use the javascript not all right if we are not there okay if we're not on that li that active li all right we need to remove the class of active That way we don't have all three being active. You know, we only want the one active. Okay, let's test it anyway. And she works. Part home, part two, and part three. Voila. Enjoy.